Hey everybody, this is Mount to do Soldier playing Doom 2. This is map 24 the Chasm. <clears throat> uh, this is the uh, infamous map in all of the Doom games, but I actually have been practicing it a few times. It actually isn't that bad. This map has a certain theme to it. We'll just equip. I'll just equip the rocket launcher and start using it uh, for a little bit because I'm running low on every single ammo type. As you can see, this map has a theme to it. Well, you'll see it in a moment. Fire a few rockets in this uh, imp cluster. Whoa! Okay, I forgot about that imp. No, 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 no super shotgun. I don't want to waste any. Shells kind of dead right there. Alright, any. Yeah, there's only one imp left. Switch to the chainsaw. Yeah, this map is actually, uh. kind of stressful because these narrow ledges. Actually, there are ledges that are a little more narrow in the second half of the map. Uh, right down here, might as well grab it, there's a rocket launcher if I... Oh, God. Yeah. Alright, there are four secrets on this map. <clears throat> First secret will be revealed after we get the shotgun. And I find it best to use the super shotgun as a guide to... Um, stay on the ledge. And don't worry if you fall in because uh, it'll rise automatically. But I want to switch back to the rocket launcher because, yeah, there are going to be some caca demons coming out. I'm actually going to wait until they get a little higher to kill them. Because, oh! Because I actually noticed a little glitch. Uh, while well, I was doing a practice run on this. Where is it? Oh, okay, there he is. A little glitch where <laughs> one live khaki demon raised the uh, two dead ones. You hear that? That is the sound of floor rising on the other side where the shotgun is. Alright. So, yeah, we've got the first secret. Next thing to do is to find the nearest teleporter. Go down these steps. Yeah, just take your time. And go through the teleporter. Now, I highly suggest you go to the left first. Yeah, I'll use the chainsaw at this point. Yeah, I find it best just to kill these first because if you go anywhere else, they are going to spread out. And that is not a good thing because uh, on a practice run, I was trying to fight some caca demons. I've been hearing them grunt, you know, growling in this hallway. Couldn't find them. They were in the dark area, in the dark uh, hallway. Um, right over there. Well, it's over there. It's going to turn dark soon. And there were actually some specters in there, so they easily blended in. There are three switches in here to uh, get to a secret. That's one switch. Now, over here... Well, wait. Is it this? I might as well go for this one. Actually, I should have grabbed the Berserk Pack. There's a Berserk Pack in this room. But I think I can handle it with the chainsaw. I think that's their, uh... Teleporting point. Oh, yeah, here comes another one. Come on. Okay, I'll go to you. Oh, wait, one teleported. Come on. 
One left. Yes! Oh, look at all this. Look at all these goodies. Yeah, that's the second switch. Now, the last one, uh, there are actually a couple of traps in here. What I'm gonna do is... Yeah. is switch to the... Well, I'll switch to the super shotgun for a moment, because there's a baron on the other side. And yeah, crap! You hear that? They're chain gunners. Yeah, they're coming straight for me. One of the worst things to deal with is uh, chain gunners shooting at you in the dark. And I should have dealt with them first before the Baron, but oh well. I'm still in good shape. Yeah, there's the Berserk. That's the thir third switch. Now let's get out of here. Uh, yeah, I'll grab go for the teleporter right here. Yep, go across these again for the last time. Now let's go. Let's get up here. The secret will actually be triggered when the, the wall on the right is going to open up and there are going to be some uh, imps. So I just, I just use the rocket launcher to cut down on the imp population. Okay, so that was secret number two. Secret number three is right here. In order to get to that secret, we need to activate. Oh, wait. We're gonna trigger some imps to come over. Whoa! Where did that come from? Okay, well, activate this computer. This is going to lower. Yeah. Good bit of rockets, more shotgun shells. Oh! Yeah, yeah, there are a couple of barons in here. Oh! Come on! Okay. We'll save those uh, for later, the radiation suits. Alright, now. This is where I like to switch to the chain gun because uh, for the rest of this room, they're just pretty much chain gunners. Well, except for the two imps that are in this little area. Activating that computer will open this wall with a three boxes of bullets. Now, while we're on our way heading out, there are actually a couple of traps. This is a tiny, tiny trap, but on the way out, close to the to the entrance of this building, there are actually a lot more uh, chain gunners. That's why I highly suggest you do this: just do a little bit of peekaboo shooting. Huge cluster of them. Oh! oh! Okay, he must have been traveling around. And don't forget these armor bonuses. Alright, now... This is pretty much cleared. Pretty sure I got everything. Okay, now we can just grab these radiation suits and the megasphere and get out. While we have the radiation suit, let's go for uh, an area that could easily be missed. Grab these shotgun shells along the way. Uh, well, yeah, might as well grab it. We're not really coming back here again. Yeah, there's a Baron here. 
Actually, I want to switch to the rocket launcher because I want to uh, save up some shotgun shells. Come on! Alright. Oh, what a waste of health bonuses. Oh well. Alright, now... Yeah, I think they're just gonna come straight forward here. Most of them. Some. Oh yeah, they're gonna do it each time, yeah. So, yeah. I could just wait them out, or just come down here, one of the corners will wait. There's only three left, it's okay. Box of rockets, shotgun shells. Oh yeah. Yeah, we'll grab the radiation suit. Yeah, I'm about to run out of that. Woohoo! Alright, so I got everything in here. This area can easily be uh, overlooked. Forgotten about if, uh, if you're trying to go for 100%. Alright, now let's go through the top of uh, correction, it wasn't the last time we have to go through these steps. Alright, now... The next thing to do is actually... Go... Uh, go through this door. Yeah, I'll switch to the shotgun. I got enough shells. I got a haircut uh, the other day, and I was actually planning to get a haircut so maybe sometime in uh, late July, but oh, I uh, had my my left eye was burning when I woke up Tuesday morning, and that's because my hair was in my eyes while I was sleeping. I guess I, I get that once in a while. That's what happens when you. Uh, want to let your hair grow uh, a little longer. I love my bangs. I like uh, my hairstyle, you know. Nothing wrong to keep the hair a little long, just for a little bit. <laughs> Alright, so I think I got that. Yeah, I got the blue uh, key card. Let's make sure I don't miss anything. I think I got everything. Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty much clear. Let's see one. Yeah. Yeah. Good. All right. Now it's time for the second half of the map. Yeah, this this one's here is really dreadful, but it isn't really that bad from what you know the practice runs I have done. So what I'm gonna do right here, I'm actually gonna make a a file here. I'm gonna actually make a new safe game. I'm gonna call it uh, Chasm. Okay. Chasm Checkpoint. That's my file. Just in case if I fall into the into the poison, one with the poison posts. Yeah, he can't get back up, so he'll just die slowly. Alright. Yeah, just use your, the super shotgun as a guide. But, yeah, as you can hear, the cacodemon. There are actually two cacodemons in that little area. Come on. Whoa! Oh! Ho, ho, ho! Do I have to hunt him down? Oh, do I have to hunt him down? Oh, aww. Okay, well. Yeah, there's the other. That was the other cacti. So I'm gonna have to start hunting for that one. Never had that happen before. Oh, wait, wait. Okay, I guess that one teleported back. Yeah, hear that floor rising up? That is, and that... Yep, there it is. Alright, now let's... Go... 
go to where the radiation suit is. Yeah, it isn't really that bad, you know. It's more about hand-eye coordination. I think I used that term right. All right, the final secret's actually down here, which is really pointless because there's no vulnerability, but you don't really get to use it at all. Because by the time you get up back up to the top, uh, it's pretty much done. Come on. It's really taking its time. Just go around. Oh, wait, wait. Lost soul. Lost soul. There are some lost souls on this map which are, are really a big, huge pain. And you'll see that later on. When we uh, teleport to, uh, to a new uh, area. Alright. Okay, so what we're going to do is just keep on moving. And if you fall around here, don't worry, because there are teleporters everywhere. Unfortunately, they take you back before this room. And no point in grabbing any of that. Oh, crap! Yep, lost souls. Yep, they're going to push you back. And I... Yeah, some teleported to God only knows where. Yeah, and this, oh wait, 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 wait. I think I know when they're going to start teleporting back. Yep, right, yeah. They do that. They do that. Oh crap. Yeah. Yeah, I thought so. They come back when you lower those walls, revealing the uh, barons and especially the mechibus. And there's probably going to be more teleporting after that's lowered. Or did I kill all of them? No, no, I, I don't think I did. Could I? Oh, nope. Okay. Did... Okay, oh, wait, they're all dead. Alright. Just to make sure no more lost souls will be interrupting me. Look at all these health bonuses. I'm gonna switch to the Berserk Fist because on the way back there are going to be a good bit of uh, specters and uh, pink demons. Activating that computer will actually raise a, um, a platform that leads to a uh, megasphere. See, there are 35 monsters left. Switch back to the super shotgun. Going uh, into this hole is actually a teleporter. To the other side where the radiation suit is. Alright, so this is all cleared out. Now let's go for the other side. Now before I do that, I'm gonna do another quick save.
There's gonna be a Kakatemon along the way. Alright. And the floor is gonna raise up. Slowly it's gonna raise up. Thirty-four monsters left. Got all four secrets, got all the items. Just need to get all the kills. It's really taking its time. Hey, here it is. Alright. Now I wanna do another I wanna make another quick save. I haven't really had to use that save file yet. I may jinx myself in the next room. I wanna switch to the plasma gun because yeah, this next part's gonna be nasty. It Yeah. Alright, they're all dead. <laughs> oh yeah, it was best to stay where I was teleported at. Alright, now... Right over there is actually the exit, but we need to go there first. And yeah, just use the super shotgun as a guide. Do not go through the red teleport, because if you do, you're pretty much going to go back to the first half of the map. And that is not a good idea, especially all the work you had to go through just to get here without falling uh, into your death, so to say. Go through the white teleporter. Look at all these pink demons. That's what this room's pretty much is. Just uh, tons of pink demons. <clears throat> and I, I'm pretty sure after you kill every single monster in this room, uh, you pretty much killed every single monster on the map. From what I've practiced. Okay. Uh, yeah, there's some more up here, around here. Make sure you're just focusing on killing these first before you uh, go for the uh, red key card. That is cleared. Let's try this one. Wait, no. Wait, what did I... Oh, there it is. Okay. Wait, there are 14 monsters left. They're probably underneath that where the red key card is. Yeah, so I'm gonna have to work my way to it. Oh wait! Yeah. Oh! 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 Yes, yeah, the best spot to kill them. Right in this corner. They can't really surround you. There are three left. Yep, there are the last three monsters right here. Come on. Yes! All the monsters have been killed. Got all four secrets. Got all 49 items. Alright, I feel good about it. I want to make another quick save. Doing all my hard work go to waste. Let's really go for that key card. Ah, missed it. All right. Now can now we can leave. This this ledge gets a little narrower, narrower, but it isn't something for me to worry about. As long as you use the shotgun as a, super shotgun as a guide, you can get through it. And yes, that was it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and the floor is uh, raised up, which is pointless. We can actually. Get to the exit. Yep, yeah, we got everything. 
That's amazing. I didn't even fall off the narrow ledges. You know, uh, getting the hang of walking across the narrow ledges is actually, um, makes me actually like this map. You know, even though it's not one of my favorites. It, so it isn't as bad as all the people say, you know. As long as you know how to dredge carefully. Well, you know, walk carefully. Especially using the super shotgun as a guide. Uh, it isn't really that bad. Now, from what I've seen online about the origins of this this map. This is actually based on... Um, I think it's based on uh, Sandy Peterson. He... I think he's the one that designed this map. It, it was actually um, based on a nightmare he had uh, one night because uh, he had a night, well, a dream that he was at a chasm with all the narrow ledges like, like you saw. So it was based on a dream of his. So yeah, that's all I can say about this map. So on the next video, I'm going to be doing map 25, Blood Falls. That'll be for next time. This is Mountain Dew Soldier signing off, and I'll see you next time.